Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about the two main types of the meshes as you know uh, uh, mesh and the way we create the mesh uh, plays an important role in the accuracy of our results and in our simulations uh, in this video I'm not going to talk about the importance of mesh but I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about the two main types of meshes which are structured and unstructured mesh and uh, before starting our video uh, I want to ask you uh, if you haven't subscribed our channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel so you don't miss our future videos and if this video was helpful for you please don't forget to like the video and share with your friends um, in, uh, in mesh and in the mesh uh, theories uh, I think there are uh, three main parameters that can uh, clarify to uh, to use which uh, type of mesh the first and very important parameter is the geometry. If our geometry is as simple as like I uh, you know the cubic or in some dambric cases we mostly use a uh, structure mesh because our geometry is so simple and so we don't use to we don't have to use unstructured mesh which uh, which um, which requires more uh, computational cost. But in complex uh, geometries, we have to use triangular meshes. Uh, uh, but uh, in some cases, we can use both of them. And I will uh, talk about this uh, case uh, in the uh, third um, parameter. The next very the next important parameter is the computational cost. Uh, in, in simulations, uh, the computational cost is so important for us, and in some cases, uh, we have to use uh, I know very 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 small um, grids so uh, so to make our simulation and results more correct and accurate but uh, uh, in compare uh, if we if I want to compare a structured and on a structured mesh uh, I want to say that a structured mesh um, use uh, requires less computational cost uh, compared to unstructured mesh uh, mesh which is mostly triangular meshes and the third and last important parameter is our flow regime in laminar flow which which our uh, flow is in one direction mostly and it is not turbulent and uh, it is um, it is preferred to use a structured mesh because we can uh, we can easily generate the mesh in a way that it is it is normal to our flow so we don't need to normalize our velocity uh, into uh, our mesh so it is the one um, and what um, advantage of uh, structured mesh in laminar flow? But if it is our turbulent flow, uh, in that case we don't, don't we don't have we don't have that advantage anymore. So uh, we uh, we should uh, we mostly use unstructured mesh, or we can even use a structured mesh, but it uh, don't have that uh, advantage anymore. So, but in some cases we have both laminar and turbulent flow. So, and uh, like uh, in boundary layer, we we always have laminar flow. So, we can use uh, we can create a structured mesh in professional uh, in professional uh, simulations. We use a structured mesh in our boundary layer, and then uh, for other parts of our geometry, we use unstructured mesh. So, um. It is our uh, in some cases uh, we can use a structured and in some cases we can use unstructured mesh. But the most but the important part is that uh, we can use both of them. So uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if if you if you like the video, please don't forget to uh, click on like and, and subscribe our channel and share your opinions and ideas about this type of uh, meshes in the comments so we can discuss together and learn together.